Hello everyone, Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth in Western Australia. I'd like to speak to the Feast of the Assumption and the theme, Do His Will. Father Floor McCarthy, New Sunday and Holy Day Liturgies, page 63, says this, We celebrate Mary's Assumption into heaven where she shares in her son's victory over death. Mary was a humble person who sought to do the will of God at all times. In this way, she shows us the way we must go in order to share his glory. And then he shares the most beautiful story that I want to share with you to illustrate what he was saying. So this is page 365, 366 from New Sunday and Holy Day Liturgy's Father Floor McCarthy. When things go wrong, there is a tendency to blame one's parents. Psychologists trace everything back to childhood. Therefore, when things go right, we should give credit to our parents. There was a poor boy who grew up in Los Angeles. As a teenager, he became interested in boxing and soon showed that he had exceptional talent. Were it not for this, he probably would have drifted into crimes like so many of his companions. The most significant person in his life was his mother. She encouraged him and went to all his fights. He was selected to box for America in the Barcelona Olympics of 1992. He was thrilled, but unfortunately his mother wasn't there to see him represent his country. She died a short time before the Games began. This greatly saddened him, but at the same time made him all the more determined to win the gold medal for her sake. He did. And in his moment of triumph, he didn't forget his mother. The very first thing he did after the verdict was announced was to get down on his knees, right there in the ring, before the television cameras of the world, and say a prayer. Looking up to heaven, he said, Ma, this is for you. I owe it to you. As she had been at the centre of his struggle from the beginning, he now wanted her to share in his glory. Mary was with Jesus from the beginning and stayed with him right to the end. She was beside him in all the joyful and sorrowful moments of his life. She brought him into the world in a stable. When he was but a newborn baby, she took him into Egypt to save him from Herod's killers. She brought him back to Nazareth and took care of him as he grew up. She sought him in sorrow when he was lost in the temple. During his public ministry, she sometimes feared for his safety and sanity. And she accompanied him all the way to Calvary, staying with him until he died. Therefore, it is right and fitting that she should share his risen glory. That is what we are celebrating on this feast a mother sharing in the triumph of her son. And it gives us great encouragement. After all, Mary was just a human being. What she has attained, all of us are meant to attain. We can look at her now in glory and say, that is how we will be one day. As our spiritual mother, she wants nothing less for us. Just because she is in heaven doesn't mean that she can't help us. It is probably because of where she is now with God that she can best help us. And so what I would like to do is ask you if you want to, to close your eyes and I would like to finish this little segment with a prayer to Mary, our mother, and ask her to intercede for us before Jesus, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit. So Mother Mary, you know each person that is watching right now. Some have deep devotion to you, some may not know you. But Mother Mary, you know them because Jesus has told you about all of those in his kingdom. And so I'm asking for special prayers for this particular person that's watching you right now, that you will pray their needs be met, their eyes be opened, their hearts be flaming with love for God, and that their triumph will be as your triumph is, that we too will come to where you are and be there for all eternity with Jesus Christ our Lord. In his precious name, I make this prayer. Amen. God bless you. I didn't intend to say that prayer. It just came to me spontaneously as I finished the teaching, and I think it was meant for somebody 
very particularly today. God bless you. Thanks for listening. I look forward to meeting you again next week. <laughs>